The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet, you're watching Dr. Education. As you know, we make videos about health and healthcare topics and today we are going to talk about stress. Are you stressed? I am stressed. Yes, I am. Everyone is stressed and everyone feels stress in their jobs once or at times, sometimes, right? Even if you like your job, still you may feel stress about the hours, about co-workers, about deadlines or about many possible layoffs or anything like right? sometimes the stress is actually good it's motivating and it can help you achieve things and but sometimes if actually stress is very very consistent it can lead to health problems right and that's why finding ways to actually relieve your stress can help you stay healthy as well as feel better as well as perform better right so that's why it's important to understand how you can overcome job stress right and before understanding how to overcome job stress you have to understand what can be the possible reasons right and the causes can be different for different people obviously and but there are very there are some common sources of these uh, stressful jobs first is work overload right obviously if you have a lot of overload um, long hours or having very few breaks or if you are juggling through a very heavy heavy overload maybe couple of jobs or you're doing multiple jobs then there is an issue that is number one reason work overload the second big reason of uh, job stress is work roles now this can be uh, this means that if you don't have a clear work role that okay if you your work is not defined that you don't know what you're supposed to do and you are asked to do almost everything right that happens in many places right and you have to do many roles or sometimes you have to answer to more than one person at that time your jobs becomes more stressed right that happens to many people obviously and similarly the third is job conditions what is that if a job is physically very demanding or maybe dangerous right it can be stressful right physical work is involved or some physical danger is involved that can be this thing so and if the job uh, exposes you to some kind of pollution environmental toxin toxic chemicals or even some very loud noise right if your job is say something which involves such kind of physical exposure then also that can be a stressful source right so, and more then after this the fourth reason is management obviously right if you have a bad manager or who does not even allow uh, you to you know your uh, make decisions or if you if your organization or your work place lacks or lacks organization right or it you have like there is a lot of politics involved in and uh, in that particular job then also there is an issue then the fifth reason is if you have issue with others problem with your boss or co-workers that is a very common source of stress and the last one uh, is a fear of your future yes fear of your future if you are afraid of your future that um, you might not stay in the job etc etc then you feel stressed and worried about uh, you know a layoff or what will happen in your future so what happens if you have job stress how job stress affects your health right like any other kind of stress job stress that continues for a very long time or a long time can affect your health and job stress also increases your risk for many health problems like heart problem 
Yes, you can have heart problem, back pains, right? Many people go into depression, burnouts, right? They might even have injuries, physical injuries or sometimes your immune system becomes a little depressed uh, because of and you might have infections, you might have problems, right? It can even lead to troubles at home, psychological uh, disturbances between relationships in your life, right? Making your stress worse, right? So many things can happen in your life and that's why you have to look for signs of stress, right? Job stress is becoming more so it will start giving signs. Number one sign, headaches. You might have frequent headaches, you might have frequent stomach upset, right? Or you might have a sleeping problem, sleeping problem, trouble sleeping, trouble staying up, uh, straying asleep, right? You might have problems in your personal relationships or you might just feel unhappy in your job. So that is also a symptom and you might even have some feeling of anger. Often uh, you might also have some short temperedness so yes sub these are all things right so <laughs> these are all things which can give you a sign that okay you have significantly higher amount of stress which is interfering now in your with your health so what can you do that's the big question what can you do number one thing which you can do is take a break right you need to take a break if you are feeling stressed or angry at work take a break even a short break can actually help relieve your stress take a walk right take a healthy snack if you cannot leave your job or area then just close your eyes for a few moments and breathe deeply take a short break now that's important <laughs> right then you have to create a job description, right? You have to review what is my job? What is, uh, what is the priority of that job, right? What are, what I need to do, what I don't need to do, right? That is very, very important. And you have to have a better sense of control over the expectations which are there from you, right? from you from your uh, uh, job employees right and then obviously you have to set reasonable goals because everyone wants to succeed and everyone wants to achieve the highest goal but you cannot do it in one step right you have to set small reasonable achievable goals so that you can actually achieve it reasonably do it right and you have to work with your bosses or your co-workers to set reasonable expectations so that they are also realistic that's more important realistic being realistic is more important and you have to keep a track of what you actually accomplish every day or every week because you have to keep moving forward if you're not moving forwards you're not working right then you have to manage technology the third point is manage your technologies cell phones and emails can actually make you make it hard you know, to tune uh, your workout because sometimes you, uh, you you have to limit yourself right because they might be very demanding to do all these work so do you have to limit yourself like you have to tune off sometimes you have to take a break from these devices tune off take a dinner uh, take some time or take a take a time off go out right take a dinner with your family do something manage your technology stay away from these things for some time at least in a day or once in a while that's very important and you have to take a stand that's also very important if you're working conditions are dangerous or hostile hostile uncomfortable or if your boss is like harassing you or management is bad or your employee or some other co-worker has an issue with you you have to take a stand somewhere or the other right that's very 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 important right and your dignity is more important than the job or anything else in the world right then obviously if you want to perform better you have to get organized right each and every day is important so you have to try and make a to-do list right that's also a good way to do it it's an option right and you have to rate the task right what is more important prioritize the things it's very important and you have to find out time to do things which you like which you enjoy because 
why are you earning if you're not enjoying your life right if you're not uh, you know if you're not exercising or doing your hobbies or seeing a movie if you're not spending time with your family then what are you doing for right what are you doing these for right basically basically it's different for everyone but you have to do something which you enjoy right and you have to use your time off if you have a time off use your time to go on a vacation go on a regular vacation right even a long weekend uh, something which you can give uh, yourself is a good thing right or you can even uh, spend time with your family with your children that is one big huge stress buster for most of us right and lastly if you still feel that you cannot do all these things by yourself then you have to talk with a counselor with a, a psychologist with a psychiatrist and they can help you understand and help you develop these small small bits and pieces uh, and solve the puzzle for you right and you have to understand that there are ways to manage stress including many exercises are there relaxation techniques are there um, yogas are there meditations is there so there are many ways to actually reduce release stress and you can follow them i have i will i'll i'll make a video on that right how to reduce stress what are the main ways basically so this is how you can tackle and live happily ever after in your job right hope you like the video hope this is helpful a little bit right if it is do let me know give it a big thumbs up write down in the comments and uh, share this video all right i am dr paranjit you are watching dr education stay connected and stay healthy